around, hoodie season back around No more summer bounce, let you squeeze out Squeeze See the indoors when we're throwing down Oversized jumper with her underwear out I'm on the sound, hoodie season back around No more summer bounce, let you squeeze out Alright, we're here another day, we're up the mountain Did four mics yesterday I was uh, intense, feeling a little was a little mentally exhausted because I worked all day, ran in the morning Running around the city trying to get to the mics was wild, but I, man, it was great. I loved it, every second of it. Uh, I really got to see, like when you do four sets in one day and it's all the same, it's the same set, you can kind of see like where the mistakes you're making and then you can see what punches hit with what crowd, which is kind of unique because uh, there's, there's three places where I did comedy that had actual crowd crowd. Uh, so you get to see like what works and what doesn't and how you there's like mistakes that I made like little ones that I saw I was like holy Christ I need to fix that but that was dope so uh, yeah today's day four just ran up the mountain about to head back down and get the day started so pretty exciting I try to get at least two in today there might be a chance for me getting three but you know we'll see and uh, just out here grinding like a like a base yeah yesterday was dope man what a crazy day all right guys let's get rolling all right, guys, we're heading to L.A. Comedy Club right now. I want to catch that 8 p.m. show and, uh, you know, see the feature act and the headliner there because it's a uh, it's rotating. So they always every single week they got the L.A. Comedy Club here in Las Vegas. The Travis here, they always, always got a new uh, headliner every week at the 8 p.m. show. So um, and for me, man, it's super important to see different styles of comedy because I have no idea what <laughs> styles of comedy are like. I don't, You know what I mean? Other than. Just like, I just see it, I'm like, okay, I like this, okay, I don't like that, you know, whatever. But, um, so I'm heading over there real quick. Uh, I missed half the show last time, the beginning portion, so I want to catch the, the back end of it, or the front end of it, and uh, maybe I'll bounce after that, because I because there's a mic, there's actually three mics tonight, and if you play your cards right, you can, um, you might be able to bang out all three. You just, you gotta kind of just play it right because the one of the places is kind of far out it's kevin's mic kevin winnie's hilarious guy it's uh at the plate and it's kind of on the uh, east side of las vegas so i gotta i'll go there first bang that one out because that one i i kind of make it a priority because it's a seven minute mic sometimes even 10 even longer if it, there's not many of us i mean i did 25 minutes but i'm not saying it's good it's just like i got to go up there and just say my material or whatever i have in my phone for 25 minutes just kind of work some stuff out um and then you can um head to uh square bar their mic starts at nine and i think ocha ties mark mic starts at 9 30 so if you do it right you can kind of put your name on the list and do this and do that, do that and kind of see which one uh you can hit up and maybe hit up both so it's just it's like you got to play the game um, but yeah, I feel good. Uh, mentally, I feel great. Even though I was like tired today, this morning, that's just from like talking. Cause I was on stage a lot yesterday and, um, for me and, uh, you know, 24 minutes worth of time I did. And I was just like exhausted from, uh, just doing that, uh, from talking. Uh, I, I just can't believe like people can go on stage for like two hours and do comedy and they do it twice a night, Friday, Saturday, and sometimes even Sunday. It's, it's insane to me. But yeah, so I'm heading out, uh, I'm heading to the LA Comedy Club right now, so let's go check it out. All right, guys, we just came back from LA Comedy Club. Uh, we're here at the plate, going to get a seven-minute set in and go probably either Square Bar or Ochitai after. Um, got to catch the last portion of the, the, the 8 p.m. show, so that was dope. And uh, now it's my turn to do some comedy, so uh, pretty excited. Let's uh, go inside and check out the plate. Guys, we're here at Square Bar, about to hit this mic up. Uh, looks like we could only get two done today. I was trying to get three, but Ocha Tai, uh, the mic ended a little early. You know, it happens. Um, I think they're gonna try to, from what I'm told, stagger it a little later, so more people can come through, so the mic and it stays longer, So, um, which would be great, because then I could definitely hit up three mics in one day. But uh, the Kevin Winnie mic went pretty good. Um, not, nobody was really there, just comics, and it's just working through the material, trying to get better, man. And uh, now we're at Square Bar trying to do the same thing. So I'm at about 10 or 11 mics so far this week, and it's only Thursday. But, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there's only really one mic. So uh, 
I think Saturday is Dennis Lavender's show, though, so that's a big one. So I'm going to try to hit that one up so I might be able to squeeze two on Saturday. Uh, we'll definitely see. Uh, Big J Olgerson's here, so I'm definitely trying to see that show. And he has two shows. He has a 7.30 and a 10. And then Friday, they got the Dirty at 12.30. I would love to hit that up and just make a massive day of comedy. Because obviously going on stage is the most important thing. Writing and then also seeing other guys perform who are at the top of their game is huge too. So if you have all these big hitters in town, you might as well go see them. Why not? So that's what I want to do. Um, but yeah, I'm here at Square Bar, so let's go check it out right now. Boom. Penny skirt on, take my body in glitter. Pop, pop, form, sneakers, all the boys want a picture. Two, two, four, cars, I make rich look richer. Save your breath, baby, I'm not going home with y'all. Penny skirt on, take my body in glitter. Pop, pop, form, sneakers, all the boys want a picture. Two, two, all right, guys, so that is the end of the night. It is Thursday, day four of the challenge. Uh, I'm a little tired. It's 12.45 a.m. Uh, last mic went all right, man, I'm starting to figure out the this wheelchair bit that I've been doing, and it's messed up, but it's a, it's a, if I hit it right, it's a, it's going to do very well, um, if I do it right. It's all about delivery, and that type of joke, you better come with fire, and you better come with energy, because when you say messed up stuff, like, when you're doing bits like that, you like, you, you can't just be, and I, I'm a, I do this all the time, I, and I was way at the beginning, and still now to this day, is like, when I'm doing, like, a joke that's, like, messed up, like, a bit that's, like, edgy, I'll be, like, shy, and it's like, if you don't come out there with confidence in just being like, I don't give a shit what happens if I bomb or whatever, I'm coming, and I'm, I'm, I'm telling this joke no matter what happens, uh, especially if it's an edgy joke, like you're going to bomb almost every single time. But if you can get them on your side at the beginning, so the joke starts slow, but at the end I, I can really like light it on fire if I do it correctly. Um, and if, if I win them over, like I, I it's going to hit good. Like I've done that. I've, it's, I've done that joke in the last two days, like three days, actually, I want to say so one, two, three, four, five, seven times. And I, every time, each of the major punchlines hits, and it hits good every single time with uh, a crowd, without a crowd. It gets a couple people that are in the crowd. It gets them every single time. So I'm excited to see what, that, what I could do with that bit, and uh, I want to try it next week at Wise Guys in front of a crowd. So, or, or And I think i got a spot at 18-bit next week, so hopefully I can uh, go there and do that there as well and see how it goes. Um, but, yeah, so we'll see how it goes, man. I'm uh, ready to go to sleep, man. Grinding these mics, though, are other than being a dad, bro, like grabbing these mics with my homie Antonio, man, hitting these mics up, it's, there's really not, you know, there's really nothing better uh, with him, with Mario, you know, Ed, all these guys, the homies, like there's really nothing better, better feeling for me than like grinding these mics out and working hard and, you know, watching these bits progress. Like Antonio hit a bit tonight that he, like for some reason, he hasn't done it in like six months, I feel like. And I was like, yo, why haven't you done that joke? It's a really good joke. And he did it tonight, and it, like, did well. And he still delivered it the way that you should, the way that he delivers all of his jokes. Like, he, Antonio Hernandez out is, like, and I know he he is my friend. Like, so I'm, not, I'm biased. But, like, when he, but to be honest with you, like, when he delivers a joke, he delivers in any room, no matter what's going on, when he delivers his main jokes, his main sets, they always come in exactly the same every single time, the same tempo, the same. Nothing changes. You know, he doesn't care if there's a 100,000 people or one person. He hits the joke exactly the same every single time. The consistency of him is really cool. And that's something I've learned over time to try to get more consistent because I'm very inconsistent. Uh, it's like there's times I go on stage, it looks like I've never done comedy before. And there's times where I go on stage and I look like halfway decent. So. Just trying to figure it out, man. Uh, but that's my homie. I'll I'll tag him on the. Uh, uh, make sure you follow him on IG and all the social media. He's got a uh, podcast called uh, the Whitest Mexican, you know. So uh, make sure you follow him. So um, it's all going to be down below in the link. So thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much. It's been a tiring day. So uh, I'll catch you guys later. All right. Have a wonderful night. Don't forget to like and subscribe later.